Hi everybody, it's Nick from astroexploring.com and in tonight's video I'm going to be doing another imaging session. I'm going to be photographing the Pinwheel Galaxy M101. I've always believed that the universe never throws more at you than you can handle, so while we've all been in lockdown for four weeks now, um, this is the fifth week, um, we're locked down for another couple of weeks at least, um, but we've been blessed with more clear skies since this lockdown than I have ever seen before. So. I like to think that's the universe giving something back um, in this in this difficult time for everybody. And so I am continuing galaxy season by photographing M101, the pinwheel galaxy. That is a galaxy that sits in the constellation of Ursa Major and I will be able to image that for as long as the batteries last in my DSLR. I need to upgrade my, my setup and um, the constraints of having to cope with one DSLR battery is the absolute first thing that I want to upgrade. Now before we get into the rest of the video I just want to give a quick shout out to a giveaway that I found online at gostargazing.co.uk. This survey is for any astronomers to fill out and it just asks some questions about have you ever been to a dark sky site, have you ever seen uh, the ISS in transit, those sorts of questions and entering that survey will get you into a prize draw for a Skywatcher a Star Travel 102 refractor telescope and it comes complete with an alt as mount um, with the Wi-Fi capability so that you can actually control it from uh, a smartphone or, or tablet so uh, that's pretty cool if um, if you know somebody who is looking to get into um, astronomy um, it's a really good beginner scope and um, while I recommend that people learn the night sky the, the proper way um, Having an app where you can just slew to your target straight away is absolutely phenomenal. And I'll put a link to that survey in the description down below so that you can check that out. Um, I feel obligated to say that um, nobody has paid me to um, tell you about this survey. I simply got in touch with Ghost Stargazing and said, I found your survey online. Would you mind if I shared it with my with my YouTube subscribers? And they said that that's absolutely fine. Um, I do have to say that while the survey is open to anybody in the world, the prize draw is only for people who are residents of the UK. So sorry to those people overseas. Go away, cloud. Quick update. So you probably heard in my comprehensive weather forecast earlier that um, a large portion of the sky has clouded over. Um, it's just, it is due to be clear tonight, so I'm hoping that that clears pretty soon. It's just after nine o'clock in the evening, so I have just done a polar alignment and I've done a one star alignment and I've slewed to the pinwheel galaxy, but I need to wait for at least another hour before it's dark enough for imaging, which means it's going to be the third night in a row where I am going to bed well past midnight. And, and even in these times, I'm still I'm still working full time. Um, I'm just at home, but I still have to get up early for work in the morning. So I'm <laughs> feeling pretty shattered at the minute, but I'm not going to complain because these uh, these clear skies we've been having have been absolutely fantastic recently. I thought my images might be slightly better because of um, how many planes are in the sky. There's obviously far fewer planes in the sky at the minute um, than there would be normally. Elon Musk seems to be taking care of that. He's just launching satellites every other day at the minute. So uh, yeah, um, <laughs> from my imaging session last night, I had to delete 20 images because of satellites and I think it was about 25 from the night before that. So um, that's getting pretty annoying. So tonight, as I've already said, I am photographing the pinwheel galaxy M101. It sits in the, hello? Sorry, that's my dog. Sits in the constellation of Ursa Major. And I'm shooting with my um, Skywatcher Evo Star 72ED and um, modified DSLR. I'm going to be doing um, two minute exposures at ISO 800. Um, the reason I'm doing two minutes is because one, I don't auto guide. Uh, I think I can push it further than that without auto guiding, but that's that's one reason. And another reason is that um, without any um, light pollution filter, I'm, I'm really going to struggle to not get my images washed out. All right, so I'm just taking a test shot now, just a two minute exposure, ISO 800. And here's a pro imaging tip for you. It really helps if you take the cap off your telescope before you start imaging. Unlike me, uh, who forgot to do that. <laughs> so I had to, uh, I had to start this one again. 
just a, that's just a top tip for you. You won't find tips this useful anywhere else, honestly. Okay, um, this is going to be really overexposed in the red channel, especially on here. But the pinwheel galaxy is there. You can. I hope you can just. I hope you can just see that if I just zoom in quite a bit. But but there it is. Um, it looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm just going to check. Yeah. So. My camera's modified, so the red channel is always going to be more exposed than the um, uh, green or blue. But um, that's pretty much where you want your um, data to be, about a third of the way in from the left. I could probably go maybe two and a half uh, minute exposures, to be honest. But that histogram there is, is probably um, where, you, where you want to be. So I am going to go ahead and start my imaging session now, and then I am going to... Um, go to bed for a bit because I'm absolutely knackered so I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later thanks for watching these videos um, hopefully hopefully I'm keeping you company if you're uh, if you're stuck at home thanks to everybody who's um, subscribed to my channel so far I'm at nearly 500 subscribers now which is just unbelievable and um, I can't I can't quite believe it um, I think some of my videos have got over 2,000 views. There's one of them that's got nearly two and a half thousand views on um, how to polar align the, um, the Star Adventurer. And um, honestly, I didn't think anybody would even find that useful because it's been out for a few years now. But I'm, I'm guessing there's still a lot of people that are new to the hobby and coming in and, and just aren't quite quite sure where to get started. And I think that's just absolutely brilliant. Really pleased that this hobby is taking off for so many people. And um, yeah i think i'm trying to approach this channel with what information did i want to know three years ago when i first started and trying to trying to teach my younger self <laughs> if you like that's that's what i have in my head what did i want to know when i was starting this what information was i looking for and i'm just trying to share that um with you all so i, I hope you appreciate that and uh, and thanks for being part of this i hope this video wasn't too disjointed i just wanted to get a video out um, out there just because I wanted to, to connect with you guys um, so <laughs> I hope that you like it um, I didn't really show much of my imaging session at all did I um, but you've you've seen that a million times it's a, it's a pretty simple setup with the 72 ED photographing a target like this is pretty challenging um, mostly because it's going to be such a wide field so um, the 72 ED has got a focal length of 420 mil. It's really difficult to pull out loads of detail when you're shooting at such a such a wide field. But I hope you like the the image, nonetheless. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because that really helps me out. Give this video a, a like uh, and leave a comment below about um, other videos that you would like to see. 